Don't forget to subscribe the 1% Club our channel because we give you the information the top rich 1% people have. Babylon B, with the recent headline, Investor Relieved, he pulled money out of crypto and put it into bank for safekeeping. Joining me now, Coin Stories podcast host Natalie Bernal. Natalie, you know that headline, of course, tongue in cheek, but the reality is, is crypto, especially Bitcoin, has been the port and the storm. I mean, what's the moral of this story right now? Hi, Charles. Good to see you. Well, you have to laugh at that headline because otherwise you could just cry, right? I mean, why is it so hard to figure out where to put our money these days to preserve it? And I think it's notable to see that Bitcoin worked this weekend when banks didn't. New people joined the network, blocks were created, and new Bitcoins were minted on a predictable schedule, and it just worked. And this is what Bitcoin was designed for because the current system, the problem with it is not just all the leverage and debt but the trust. Mm -hmm. Satoshi warned us that banks are trusted to hold our money, but instead they lend it out in waves of credit bubbles with just a fraction in reserve. And so people just need to remember that when they give their money to the bank, the bank is making bets with your savings. It's not sitting there. It's not backed one to one. You're essentially trusting the bank to manage counterparty risk. And what you have in return is an IOU on the screen. And the difference with Bitcoin is you have a bare instrument with no issuer that you can self custody with no counter party risk and you don't have to trust anybody but yourself. I just hope that lawmakers soon realize that Bitcoin is accretive. It's not destructive. It will make yeah. the world more stable, not less. It adds to the human experience and it's a store of value competing with all the other assets for stores of value. And it does not destroy the dollar. Frankly, the dollar is dying by a thousand cuts at the hands of bureaucrats who are taking us further and further into debt. And Bitcoin is a way to strengthen the whole system by presenting an alternative, a form of hard money tied to energy decoupled from politics yeah but how did, then how will lawmakers curry favor how will lawmakers uh, print money for the next welfare program that curries favor or the next special interest that curries favor if they lose control of fiat currency if there's not a fiat uh, central bank digital currency if fiat currency is not in the driver's seat don't they lose all of their power aren't that isn't that what they're really afraid of I don't think they care about the economic message you just talked about I think that people sometimes forget that we hold the power. We're the ones electing them, and we get the government that we demand. And so they might be proposing ideas like a different kind of blockchain, a CBDC, a programmable political form of money controlled by the state. But that's not the answer. The answer is a decentralized alternative with a capped finite supply that no one can manipulate and that no one can control. Mm -hmm. And Bitcoin offers that alternative. Well, certainly Bitcoin has shined in a moment of truth for sure.